All right, guys, today we are in North Canton, Ohio, where this Halloween city is not open. What in the world? It's an atrocity. How are we supposed to get spooked out of our minds if the Halloween city is not even open? I'll tell you how. Because there's a party city right over there, and they own Halloween City. Halloween City. <laughs> ah, yes, the party city. I don't know when the Halloween City opens. I even asked them, and they didn't know yet. But they do have Halloween goodness set up right inside those doors. I can see it calling our name from here. Hello, Halloween. Halloween as far as the eye can see. We're at least over to aisle number three. First, let's look at these decorations because I love the candy corn. Look at the little happy candy corn guy. Stop by for a spell, a bubbling cauldron, house of horrors, visitors dead. <laughs> All right, I gotta come see these pumpkin buckets too because the first thing that catches my eye is this awesome black skeleton candy holder right here. This is pretty cool, actually. I'd like to just have that on my desk, filled with candy and treats all the time so I can get a little bit fatter. Then we have this jolly guy wearing a Hawaiian lei. I would love to get to Hawaii to film some Halloween stuff, but look at these buckets. Wait a minute, we got cool cups here too, but hold on, look. There's a treat of a receipt. <laughs> There's a receipt treat in this bucket. I like these, actually. Awesome trick-or-treat buckets with Halloween faces. Let's look at these cups, though. Look, I can already tell this is Chucky right here. These awesome tumblers. Look how it's orange inside this one. There's Sally and Skellington. Jack Skellington. What's this here? Michael Myers. Why is everything Halloween 2 this year? I think it's because of, uh, like, copyrights and marketing and stuff. Um, let's see, what's this one down here? It's red inside this one. Oh, this is Stranger Things right here. Is this a different one here? No, that's another Halloween 2. All right, let's go ahead over here. Oh, look, here's a whole plethora of those black skeleton skull candy holders. And those are only seven bucks. What the heck, those are so awesome. It's stuff like this that I look at and I think this would be totally awesome for Saturday night snack and a spooky movies. We've got these little mini straw bales here. Now, honestly, I prefer the actual giant ones that really come from farms, but these are pretty cool if you had like a small area you wanted to decorate. And here's even smaller ones. Like, look at this. This just makes me think of like a brick of money. <laughs> And, of course, we have the light-up skeleton stacks here. These are cool. You could set one of these on each side of your front porch or your driveway to welcome trick-or-treaters. Right along with these spooky guys, the evil pumpkin. These are totally awesome. And look, they use a little light inside. They're battery-operated. You don't even have to plug them in. That is like the perfect headless horseman pump. Listen, I'm echoing inside the pumpkin. That is a perfect headless horseman pumpkin. If you could get one of those lights to put inside that flickers and looks like it's actually on fire. Okay, we do have a couple of animatronics here. I know I stopped in this store like a month ago, and they had Michael Myers sitting here, and that was it. And I remember looking at this one in the other party city that I was at, the Vengeful Vicky. I remember it because if you turn it around, it's called Vicky Vengarisi. <laughs> I really like her. I think she's awesome because she's like carving a pumpkin. I wonder if, okay, yeah, the pumpkin actually comes with it and she's sitting here like she's carving the pumpkin and then she lunges at you like she's gonna carve you. And here's one I had not seen yet, Risen from the Grave. Bone chilling, flickering LED light in haunting sound. So he apparently rises up from behind that headstone. That is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, and it's almost six feet tall too. Wow, he's only a hundred bucks too. That is very tempting. We got a couple of these little ones up here too. Tea Time Terror and the 39 inch swing kicking scarecrow. I am not going to touch those because they look like they would fall down if I touched them. But if you look close, you can see where the Scarecrow was actually on a swing. So he swings and kicks, just as it says. And look at Tea Time Terror's face. Holy crap, I would love to see what she does. Okay, let's move over here. We have some of these skeletons, the full-size skeletons here. Yorick. Oh. 
Oh look, they extended the buy two get one free thing. So if you bought these two right here, you'd get that one free. So these are 60 bucks a piece. If you buy two for 120, you get the other one free, which makes them 40 bucks a piece. That's a pretty good deal. What the heck, are they glow in the dark? They kind of look like they're glow in the dark, but it doesn't say glow in the dark. Are you glow in the dark, sir? And look at this. I am buying some of these before I leave today. The Chains of Death. These are like, this is 12 feet of chains, guys, for $13. That's just over a dollar per foot. That is a serious deal for chains that want to kill you. Whoa, what the heck? Look at this. I thought these were only available at Spirit. It's the Universal Figural Bag Clips. I don't think we've opened these yet. Wait a moment. We have a witch here that's dying to do something creepy. Oh, come on, witch, please. All right, maybe the shaking clown will work. Please? Dang, what the heck? And look at this creepy scarecrow guy. <laughs> I love the look on his face. Look at this, it's like an animated Michael Myers candy bowl. You put the candy in there, somebody reaches for it and they get stabbed by Michael Myers' knife. Yeah, watch this. Okay, here we go. Yeah, look at it, he's stabbing. All right, stab one more time. Come on, there you go. I love the delicatessen trays. Look at this little one with severed fingers. Look, it says prime cut on it. I think we looked at this one in the other party city, but this one has like a heart and eyes and ears and a very small brain. I've heard of soap on the rope, but this is ridiculous. I love these spiders. This is like the simplest decoration, but it's huge and it's awesome. You hang it from your ceiling and it takes up the whole room. Oh, look at this, guys. I love this scene setters thing. It's like you, you put this up on your walls and it looks like a complete bloody wall. Bloody hand prints splattered. And look at this. Bloody balloons. They're clear balloons with bloody hand prints and splatter on them. I'm sure only at Halloween can you be like, Mom, I want my room to have bloody handprints and splatter. Oh my gosh, guys, have we seen the Jack Skellington pumpkins? These are uh, like a string light. I bet they sing. Oh yes, look at that. What I do, I am the best. How cool is that? All right, look at this. We have the foot on a chain, the severed foot, not even severed, it's a broken off foot on a chain. We have the zombie hands that you stick in the ground. But look at this, table scatters, they're all eyes. They're like giant eyes. These all read the map wrong with their one eye. Oh my gosh, guys, these remind me of Mad Balls from the 1980s. Look, we have Haunted Highway, Broomstick Boulevard, Nightmare Road, Boo Boulevard, Trick or Treat Hollow, and Call Cauldron Circle. Look, it's a boo cat. Look at this, on the top shelf they have more of the mystery packs. Those are all Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, I see, they have an open box down here. And we can't forget about the Zero staked prop, the giant Zero with a pumpkin nose. There's a lot of awesome costumes. Wait a minute. Look at these pinatas up here. <laughs> we got pumpkins, we have these hilarious spiders, and it looks like we have ghosts over here, too. So anyway, they have a lot of awesome costumes in here. But I want to see what these hanging guys are down here. Like, look at this witch right here. Please let her work. Yes! <laughs> she is pretty awesome. Hey, oh. She's not very loud, so we can't really understand a whole lot of what she's saying, but she is pretty awesome. We have the hanging pumpkin. We have little tiny hanging ghosts here. Could hang one of those from the rear view mirror and just let him spook all day long. Hanging skeleton guys. Here's smaller ones over here. Here's some with white fabric on the end. And look at the hands on this witch. She's like, come to me, my pretty. Ooh, she's got a button too. Um, okay. Light up Sonic Witch. I don't know if she makes sound or not, but her eyes light up. You can see the little bulbs in there, but I love how her hands are right there. Like she's just beckoning you to be part of her cauldron stew. Okay, hold on. Here's some more tea time and tinies setting up here. I'm going to go ahead and try one of these because they don't look like they're going to fall over. Okay, please work. Yes, here we go. <laughs> it's the complete...
it's the complete opposite of what I thought it was going to be. I thought she was going to have the cup down here and take a drink, but she's hiding her ugly, scary face with the teacup. I shouldn't say ugly, just scary. Do it. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my gosh. And I love how just to trick you a little more, she has a heart on the cup. She's just a loving girl. Until... <laughs> okay, yes, this is what I'm talking about right here. The misting pumpkin. Now, I said the other day when we saw this in the last Party City that I wasn't sure if you had to actually hook up like a, uh, a fog machine to it or if it just fogs itself. And I think it just fogs by itself without the need for the fog machine because it doesn't say that you have to have one. That is an awesome prop right there. However, what would also be awesome is if you carved your own pumpkin, put a hole in the back, and then connected your own fogger, and you could make your own carved pumpkin fog. Whoa, look at this vampire bat. Look at the face on that guy. Hello, rat. And look at this, guys. They have plenty of these buy two, get one free skeletons. Look at all of them up here in the corner, haunting the corner of the store. And of course, they have all kinds of other middle-sized skeletons there. And then smaller ones here, and even teeny tiny ones. Look, this one thinks he's a zombie. Oh, look at this. We even have the puppy bones. It's like the dachshund bones. I saw a picture on Facebook yesterday of a bunch of those skeletons walking a whole bunch of these skeletons. Oh my gosh, guys, look at these hats. I love these. Booyah in spooky season. All right, let's go down and see what's in the middle aisle here. Look at this. We got the sickles for children of the corn. We have these three-pronged devil forks, I guess you'd call them. Look, this one is actually a snake on there. Don't eat the apple. Bloody hatchets. We got the medieval spear and then double bladed axe that reminds me of He-Man. And look at this, we have a zombie hunter kit. It comes with an axe, a machete, and bullets. Oh my gosh, I thought this was an enormous hay bale. What the heck is it? Wait a minute. There's animatronics in that box. It doesn't say on the box what it is, but this is all we get as our little peak pumpkin something maybe? What is it? What could it be? Do you know? Wait, you're not a cat. I love to look at the weapons, because look at how cool they are. Like, first of all, here's one that I just said reminds me of He-Man. We got a shield here. We have, oh my gosh, this looks like, I think I saw this in the other store, and I said it looks like He-Man's sword. By the power of Grayskull! We got a pitchfork here, which actually, this would be really cool to add to that animatronic. I just got that uh, Jack, Twisted Jack. I can't remember if his hands are bendy or not. I don't think they are, but you could probably make them bendy. Cause that would be super cool to add to that whenever I do his makeover. And it's really light too. Look at this sledgehammer, so cool. I'd hate to get hit in the head with that. This one looks like it might even hurt worse. Holy crap, that's a little heavier. War hammer. That's like Thor's hammer. What is this? Oh, it's the ginormous axe. This thing is huge. Look at the handle on that thing. Ninja swords. Ah, oh, and here's the giant circular bloody saw. If you want it to be buzz saw for Halloween. So cool. Look, we have giant scissors here. You could be an evil hairdresser. Oh, look, they have the disappearing dagger, too. The blade actually goes down in, so you can pretend to stab somebody. It actually kind of hurts, though. That's a pretty tough spring in there. I'd probably cry if I got stabbed by that. All right, what do we have down here? It looks like just more costumes, which is cool anyways, but I want to see more props. Oh, wait, look, you could be... Brick Thunder for Halloween. Let's go down and see what this is on the end, because I like stuff like this. Little party favors. We got tiny little treat buckets that are shaped like pumpkins. Little Rubik's Cubes for Halloween and slimy ooze. Oh my gosh, guys, we have potato sacks for the potato sack races. And look, they all have one eye. I bet they read the map wrong. Look at this. Ping pong eyeballs, bouncy eyeballs, witch fingers. What the heck is this? Look, 
poppin' ball launcher. It's a zombie. Oh my gosh. The balls are brains. What the heck? Look at this. He's a zombie. The ball is a brain. You stick it in the top of his head and squeeze it, and it shoots the brain out. That is awesome. And look, he's only three bucks. Toxic waste whoopee cushions. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh my gosh, it's ooze inside little skull-shaped containers. That's pretty awesome. Guys, I am totally a crafter, so when I see stuff like this, I think, man, what else could you use those for? Here's a Joker cane that's on clearance. He's pretty cool. $13, now he's $9.75. Okay, here's a funny thing. We're in a Halloween store looking at Halloween stuff, and I just noticed these which I need for my next trip in the RV. Look, they're only a dollar each. Or there's a 20 pack down here for $13. That's a deal. I'll bet you anything I forget to buy them before I leave. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck? E.T. costume. What the heck? Inflatable E.T. on the front of your bike? Your non-existent bike? I absolutely love E.T., guys. I actually dressed up as E.T. one year. No, I didn't. I didn't dress up as E.T. I dressed up as Elliot and put E.T. on the front of my bike because I had a giant animatronic E.T. My son actually dressed up as uh, Elliot on his bike and went trick-or-treating like that, which was totally awesome. But this is sweet. Look, the E.T. is actually inflatable and you could get a bike. All right, let's head down this way. Wait a second. We just walked under something spooky. It's a spooky, no-faced goblin. But what I want to see is, hopefully down here, I want to see if they have any kind of uh, ghost face masks. Look at this. I like this vintage dapper cat mask and the vintage skull. This is hilarious because it's a copy of a vintage, I mean, of a skull mask that was in the 80s, like late 70s, early 80s. But this one is much bigger. Oh, look at this. They still have the Halloween 3 Witch, but the other ones are totally sold out. I am glad I bought mine when I did. We got the Michael Myers Halloween 1 mask up there, and then we got this Child's Play mask, which actually looks... Uh, it looks pretty good. I like how it's really thick rubber, thick, heavy rubber, but he looks a bit too old to be a child Chucky. We got a Freddy and a Jason, and look, we do have a ghost face. He's a ghost face lives, which I believe this red around his mouth and eyes lights up. Oh, and they have the ghost face, the slasher t-shirt. All right, guys, I got a jet. They have so many things here, tons and tons and tons of costumes, just about anything you could possibly want, including the headless illusion football player. That is hilarious. Or the prom scream. Look, she's holding her head. I gotta hit the road though, and I don't wanna forget my chains of death and those tinfoil aluminum things that I need. All right, here's our chains of death. Let's do, let's get two packs of chains of death. Look what I almost missed, guys. Everyone keeps asking me to find the Stranger Things costumes, and especially this guy. This is the only place I've seen the Vecna costume. That is awesome. But all right, let me show you the rest of the stuff they got here. They got the Hawkins High Cheerleader costume. Sorry about the reflection on there. They got the Argyle costume with the Surfer Boy pizza shirt. Eleven's costume. The thinking cap. Let's see, a Hawkins High cheerleader down here. The basketball uniform from Hawkins High. The bite off t-shirt. And that appears to be it, but the star of the show is definitely Vecna. I mean, these are only seven bucks, guys. I cannot pass them up. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I have an idea, okay? And hold on, because I hear, and I just noticed that they actually have Risen from the Grave set up right here. How did I even miss it? Here he is in the box, and here he is set up right here in this awesome Halloween display, right at the doors. What the heck? How do we get him to go, though? I just heard him over here making sounds. Where's, maybe this is the, oh yeah, there we go. Maybe he doesn't actually rise up, like actively rise up from behind the grave. That must be all he does right there. I like the sounds though. 
reminds me of the Wraith from Spirit. Pretty cool. 